guys, it's Amelia. So today I'm gonna to do a video that was requested a little while ago and it's gonna be all about my ombre hair, which you can't really see anymore because it's massively faded, but maybe if I do this, you can kind of see the change in color. So basically I used to actually have quite red hair that I used to get done professionally, but I got bored and anyone with red hair knows that the upkeep is an absolute nightmare. So I gave up on that let it grow out and then it became like ombre season and everyone was doing ombre so I thought okay I'll leave it um so now I use a home kit just to top it up because I just think it's ridiculous to spend so much money on like professional ombre when you can get some really good home kits so the colors that are the kit that I use is the L'Oreal Paris color ombre preference in copper ombre and it's for medium blonde to brown hair Side note, if you have the same colour hair as me, which is obviously quite dark brown, it might not work as well as mine does, just because the ends here are already pre-bleached from when I had my hair, like, coloured before. So that's why it works a little bit better. But it's a really good kit. I've been using it for over a year now, I think. Because it's just, I've never had a colour like it. I like red ombre, I like it when it goes a bit gingery, to be honest, like copper. I love that. Yeah, it's really simple to do. It's like a brush-on dye. Uh, can get quite messy, but I thought let's do it together. So if you are considering a home kit, feel free. And if you're wondering how I do my hair, there we go. So let's do this. Okay, so once you've got your kit, here are all the things you're going to get in it. Hey guys, I am now in my bathroom, which is tiny. I also have an extract fan, which is why the sound quality is quite bad. Um, I'm going to try and do a voiceover for this, but just wanted to give you a heads up if you were like, why is she in a tiny boxy room with no lighting? But the dye for this is so ridiculously orange, I cannot do this anywhere else but the bathroom because it's too dangerous and I'll make everything look like an oompa -loompa. Step one, make sure you are wearing something that you do not mind getting dirty. I can say that it does wash out, but I wouldn't judge it with anything that I love, so hence wearing a robe that don't care about. And here comes the voiceover. <laughs> So first part your hair down the back into two sections, I have a middle parting, hence mine is down the middle. Then grab your developer cream, unscrew the lid, and you're going to want to squeeze in the cream colourant. All of it. Take no prisoners, we're going all out for this thing. Then once that's done, put the lid back on, make sure it is on tight number one rule and give it a good shake to mix everything up then grab your brush and you're going to want to squeeze on the color onto the brush you can unscrew the top of the nozzle so not the main lid but the mini lid and make sure you've got a good amount on there to start applying with generally as a rule you want to start from the chin and brush downwards but however don't do a me and make sure you are wearing your gloves because your hands will turn orange and i'm not kidding so once you've done that Carry on, apply on both sides as necessary. Now take a 35 minute break and I'll see you after this is rinsed out. Okay, so I've just rinsed it out until the water was colourless and I've used the conditioner on the ends to make sure this colour's sealed in. You can see it's already a lot brighter, which is good. I'm just going to use um, this Ozzy Miracle Recharge Colour Spray, which I just like to use kind of to spray it through, because I feel like it, it just it makes your hair look a lot shinier, and it also helps protect it. So I'm going to do that now. Alright, feeling good. Now I'm gonna give it a try. And, and here we go, all done. It is a lot, a lot brighter. I don't know if you can tell the lighting is not great. Um, all I've literally done to it is I've just washed and dried it. I haven't tried to strain it or anything. This is just how my hair is naturally. And it makes me cringe because all I want to do is curl it. I hate it straight. Um, but yeah, I love this kit. It smells great. Smell lasts for ages as well. Um, it does come out very bright, but it will fade. So I'm not really too bothered about that, even if it is quite, quite red. 
Look, I like it. I haven't had it this bright for a while, so I feel like I've got a new brightness to life now. Whatever, let's go with that. So I hope you guys liked that video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe today to get updates, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.